I've been in the high school now for five years, since I was in 8th grade. There's not many places I've seen change in the room I record this video right now, Mr. Maul's room, where he conducts all of his classes and extracurricular activities for our school. What I am showing you here is the old location of Mr. Maul's room, which happens to be current day Mr. Tripodi's room. All of his desks and equipment were once in here, but not the equipment that you see today. Three years ago, the C3 lab was formed. It moved from current day Mr. Tripodi's room to room 303 down by the wood shop. Kids who think of the C3 lab think of this location today. This is where we have all Mr. Maul's technology class. One of the first technologies to be put into the C3 lab was the MakerBot Replicator 2X 3D printers. We received two of them on grant. That introduced 3D printing and prototyping class that we have today. When we received the 3D printers, everyone was wowed. There was a large boost in amount of people who wanted to learn more about technology and how to use the 3D printers, hence why we got the 3D printing and prototyping class. One of the next things we got was the CNC Shark. It has been used by multiple classes at this point, and if you look at the roof, almost every classroom has something that has been milled by our CNC Shark. The next thing brought to the C3 lab was our laser engraver. Just about everything in Mr. Mall's room has been laser engraved at one point or another. Our digital photography class uses it to create a physical picture that they have taken from their cameras. The next big technology we got was the Replicator Z18. It can print much larger than the Replicator 2Xs. At first we had some troubles, but then they sent us the new extruder head, and everything has been smooth sailing since then. Yet again, we received another 3D printer in the C3 lab. This is the MakerBot Replicator 5th generation. It is very user friendly and fairly simple to use. There has been minimal failure with this device. Kids should never take for granted the built in SD card readers we have here at the C3 lab. Digital photography class used to only have a minimal amount of SD card readers that were external through USB. They were often fought over and almost never returned to Mr. Mall's desk. The technologies in the C3 lab really help out the students in our TSA program. Here we have an architectural renovation house with 3D printed windows, a CNC milled base, and laser engraved walls for really accurate door and window placement on the house. Like I've said before, a lot has changed in the high school in the five years I have been here. No more anywhere else than in Mr. Mall's C3 lab. With all the grants he's receiving at any given time, who knows where this could be in the next five years.